Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you can see in the video, this is my giant rainforest mantis, which comes from Australia. I've had a few of these over the years and they're fantastic mantis. I usually get between 12 to 15 months out of them. Uh, mantis, as you know, don't live very long. If you get 15 months, you've done really, really well. So let's just slowly move that to the side and the mantis is eating a little baby red runner cockroach uh, my colony is doing really well all the eggs are starting to hatch and as you can see mantis eat their prey live and they eat absolutely everything and you can see the actual abdomen or the tail that's just pulsating because it's eating its food so nothing to actually worry about and if you can see the lines on the actual tail when the mantis is full uh, you'll see them lines turn black which is nothing to worry about it just means that the mantis is full with food uh, this mantis is only small it's only around about this centimeter centimeter and a half so it's very very small at the moment and if you look at the actual segments on the tail if it has nine segments that means it's a male and if it has six segments that means it's a female so i've been trying to count the segments my eyes are not the the best <laughs> um it looks like i can see six so i'm hoping and praying this one's a female females are a little bit bigger than males depending on what species you have but uh yeah it looks like it's eating that roach fairly quickly all the heads gone uh, I usually feed this mantis two or three roaches a week. They're only small. And um, that's what's good about having red runner cockroaches. You get all different sizes. You get little baby ones like the one in the video now. And you can get some adult females which are around about an inch. And the males are roughly the same size. Males have wings. Females don't. So they're very easy to spot. If you have a red runner colony like me but yeah you can have all different sizes in the roaches and you can feed all your your tarantulas and your scorpions and you know, your centipedes and you know all different uh, animals in your collection just I use um, chicken pellets to feed them and I put a bit of banana in or uh, lettuce for moisture so it looks like it's uh, devouring that roach very very quickly and uh, hopefully in the next five minutes or so that meal should be totally devoured unfortunately guys i can't put no music in the video uh the app that i actually use splice they've decided that if you want to use the music you have to pay for it so unfortunately i can't afford that at the moment because uh my channel is not doing great unfortunately views have gone completely down so if anybody can smash a like on this video i'll be uh much appreciated if i can get 100 likes i'll be absolutely fantastic it does help the channel absolutely massively unfortunately in the last couple of years my views have been absolutely terrible um, I honestly thought when the pandemic hit, or if you want to call it that, <laughs> um, I thought my YouTube channel would be a lot more busier than it actually is, but unfortunately it's uh, gone a bit backwards. But in the last couple of videos it's been a little bit better, so I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that watches my channel. I've been doing this channel now for a long time, just over 12 years. And I still do enjoy doing my videos. It's just a bit, you know, disheartening when you don't get many views and you put all the time and effort into it. But I do it out of the love of the hobby as well, just to show people that mantis are absolutely amazing. Tarantulas and scorpions and centipedes. Just give them a lot of respect and do your research and you'll have a hobby for life something i've been into for a very long time so it looks like that roach is nearly devoured i'd say in the next 
three or four minutes. I really want to get this mantis to adult size. And I have that acrylic cube that I have on my shelf, which is empty. So in the next couple of months, this uh, mantis will be going in that acrylic cube. Um, hopefully she'll be okay in here for another month or two. I am surprised it hasn't molted yet. And I've had it over a month. Just got to take a sip of water, guys. <laughs> got a bit of heartburn. <laughs> But yeah, um, these are very easily to care for, guys. I usually just spray the enclosure once or twice a week to give it a drink. They do take most of their moisture from their food. So you can give it a little spray now and again. I'll just put a couple of sticks in for it to climb around. Put the mantis mesh underneath the lid so it can hang upside down. Because mantis love to do that. They love to mimic a leaf in the wild. And then they just catch their prey. They do love flying insects. Um, you can get uh, some casters, which are fly pupae, little eggs, and just put a caster in the enclosure, wait for the flies to hatch, and then it can catch it that way. Uh, you can get them, you know, on eBay. They're, you know, cheap as chips, a couple of pounds. They don't cost much at all for casters. And like I said, they're just little eggs and they hatch. But yeah, looks like it's nearly done. And after it's finished its meal, it will start cleaning its arms or its pedipalps. But yeah, guys, you've got to have a mantis in the uh, in the collection. They're absolutely fantastic. They're just so different. And uh, look, yeah, it's cleaning itself already. Look, <laughs> it must have heard me. But yeah, this only cost me uh, six pounds from the Bristol show. So another massive thank you to my good friend Mark for picking me up and dropping me home. I will be going to the Bedford show, guys, on the 25th of September, which is five weeks today. So it would be nice to see all my good friends. And I'll, obviously, I'll be doing a video on that amazing show. I don't know if I'll be buying anything because funds are very low at the moment. It's just having the room as well. I do have some empty enclosures, but they're all arboreal all enclosures and I need some adult pokies or adult pink toes. As you know, I have a pink toe. Don't know if it's a male or female just yet, but fingers crossed it actually is a female. As you know, females do live a lot longer but it looks like it's nearly finished by now so the video has been going now for nearly 11 minutes or so and it's nearly devoured its prey already and like I said it's only it's only small it's not very big but yeah, guys, yeah, please get a mantis. They're easy to keep, especially this species, the giant rainforest mantis. They are very, very easy to keep. And you should have a good pet for at least 12 months or 15 months, hopefully. If you imagine, guys, that female mantis, when they lay their uthica, and it hatches, they have absolutely hundreds and hundreds of babies. And if you imagine that every baby lived 10 years, <laughs> they'd be more human, they'd be more mantis than humans. So, you know, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Their life is very, very short. And that's because they, personally, I think it's because they have that many babies and their lifespan is very short. But, uh, yeah. It, they're just amazing little creatures to have in the collection. Just something different. That's what I always say. And look at them colours. Absolutely beautiful. So, I'm just going to move the, uh, the stick guys a little bit. And you can 
Yeah, look, see the black lines coming on the abdomen, look. That just means it's full. So, them segments there on the tail. And then I can count one, two, three, four, probably five at the bottom, so yeah. I definitely think this one's a female. Absolutely fantastic news. And that's what you want to see, guys. You want to see that abdomen nice and full. And like I said earlier about them, about them black lines, they're appearing now because she's full up with food. And I love the way Mantis look at you. Well, I'm going to actually say something. <laughs> Stick, please stay still. Thank you very much. So let's just adjust the lighting for you guys. And look at that. Aren't they absolutely fantastic? And like I said earlier, they eat absolutely everything. It looks like it's, I think it's finished. It might have something in its other arm. But yeah, it's doing really well at the moment. I might get another mantis from the uh, Bedford show in five weeks time. And it looks like it's eating part of its leg. But uh, once it's finished its meal, guys, I'll um, spray the enclosure. I might actually do that now, actually. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little spray of water. And I'll get that stick and put it back in its enclosure. Once it's finished its meal. It shouldn't take too long. Another couple of minutes guys and then it will start preening or cleaning. If they don't decide to turn away from the camera. Looks like it's getting a little bit camera shy. <laughs> so what I'll do is guys I'll turn that well oh no it's gonna move now. It's only got that little bit left in it, so uh, In its arm. Considering the roach was only tiny, probably around about 10 15 millimeters, it's on the move. What we'll do is we'll just. Fancies do move around a lot, guys, so you have to keep repositioning the camera. I prefer to just move the stick, it's just a lot easier than moving the camera. I don't really name my my inverts. I know a lot of people do, but I had one tarantula, my G Portery, that sadly passed away five years ago. Uh, her name was Morticia. Um, that was the only tarantula I've ever named. And there we go, guys. Looks like the mantis is nearly finished. So the video has been going on now for 16 minutes. Which I initially thought it would take a little bit uh, shorter than that. So once that part of that roach is gone, it should start uh, cleaning itself. And that's what I want to see, that abdomen nice and full. I always check the admins, even on my tarantulas as well. If the abdomen's looking a little bit small, or just a bit smaller than the carapace, I always give it a feed. I used to keep a feeding diary, but I just go around my collection, check the teas, and if they need feeding, I'll put some food in. 
And that looks like that roach is being devoured, guys. And the mantis will start cleaning very soon. Come on, baby girl. <laughs> and there we go. The cleaning's happened. So, I think I'll leave this mantis now, guys. Um, I think it's watching the crickets inside the tub. I've got some black crickets that I got from my local pet shop, and I think the mantis can see them moving around. <laughs> so, I'll put the mantis back in the enclosure, guys. And thanks for watching, everyone.